The big problem coral reefs are facing is obviously global climate change, ocean warming. Caribbean reefs have warmed by about a degree Celsius over the last century or so. And the primary thing that that's doing is causing coral bleaching and coral mortality globally. But here in the Caribbean, it's driving a lot of disease outbreaks. And um, in the Caribbean, I think coral disease has probably been a bigger problem over the last couple decades than coral bleaching. For this project, we're looking at the ability of corals to tolerate differences in temperature. The goal being that we want to know if individuals from our nursery have the capacity to tolerate differences in ocean warming. So does one individual have the ability to live under higher temperatures than another individual? We can then use this information to improve the success of our restoration processes. By selecting for individuals with higher thermal tolerance, we can test to see if that does in fact translate into greater growth and survival once they've been put back out onto the reef in a restored population. Coral restoration has gotten really popular. There, there are literally hundreds of groups around the world attempting to garden and then outplant corals back out onto the reef. And it's not necessarily new. We've been doing this for boy, about 25 years now. The problem is that it's rarely successful. Usually a lot of effort and a lot of money goes into growing the corals, putting them out on the reef, and then within a couple of months or a couple of years, they all die. Because of course we haven't cooled the oceans back down, we're still living with warmer conditions and lots of other environmental changes. Um, so we need to figure out how to effectively restore coral reefs and all kinds of other ecosystems that are being impacted by global change. And that's where this project is going to really move us forward and testing this idea that by focusing on thermally tolerant genotypes, we can improve the success of coral restoration.